All right, now it's time for sit-ups. Um, I don't like to do a lot of crunching exercises or anything that's too monotonous. I like to do things that are a little more movement oriented, a little more entertaining. So pretty much, I just don't lose interest that way. So rolling sit-up, it's not just flattening back and then coming forward. It is actually tightening your midsection until you form the letter C by tightening your abs and engaging all of this so it doesn't come unfurled on the way down. So you're going to use this kind of roundness that you've created to act like a wheel that's going to roll back. That, the tension, the more tension you hold here, the better the exercise. Okay? It can be done with added weight, but you do have to be careful not to let it come at you on the way down. So keep it away from your face on the way down. Next up is the straight-legged sit-up. So for the straight-legged sit-up, that requires straight legs. You're gonna kind of tuck your tailbone under, keep your abs engaged, lay yourself back. Then you're gonna slide your fingertips towards your toes. Breathe out, see if you can touch your toes, tuck your tailbone and unfurl back. Helps to stretch out your hamstrings ahead of time. Otherwise, you can use this as its own hamstring stretch. For better or for worse. All right, it's kind of a tough one if you haven't tried it before. Next up is the... <laughs> The get up, sit up. This one can be done quite effectively without a weight at all. I'll demonstrate it with a shoe balanced on my hand. And as a procedure picking up the weight or the shoe, you name it, you have to roll towards it and face it. You're going to roll to your back. So I've got it in my right hand. I'm going to punch it up and put my right foot flat, extend my left leg, and then I'm going to put the the shoe balanced on my knuckles. And then the left hand's gonna go down. So it's kind of like a starfish position. I'm like a starfish, except my right side is engaged. So now I'm going to roll up to the elbow and express my chest forward. I don't want to be slumped down. I want to be pushing out my chest, engaging my abs. And I come up to the hand. And I come back to the elbow. And I do my sit up, back down. Couple more. Uh, uh, pivoting the hip a little bit helps at the start. And then sit up kind of at a 45 degree off to the side. And on the way back, sit up, sit back down 45 degrees from your center line. So I'm aiming like this. Last one. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, then you bring it down, set it off to the side. All right, now it's time for the get up sit up with weight. So for the get up sit up, once you have mastered it with a shoe, which is free, uh, assuming you own a shoe, you can do that as long as you need to, to advance using a weight. It's definitely more cumbersome, a little more dangerous to first try it with a weight. So I very much recommend super light weights to begin, much lighter than you you know, you want to get all macho and just go for it, do not do that. Here's what you want to do with the get up, sit up with a weight that's a little different. Shoulder packing becomes a major issue, so you don't want to overreach and overextend through your arm. A lot of people try to punch out too much. I want you to keep the shoulder retracted and packed. Avoid bending your elbow and do not cave in with your wrist. This has got to stay a firm structure, just like you would punch someone in the face with. Because I know you've done that before. So from your side, roll over to your back and get into your starfish position. Press the bell up with both hands and lower down. You're going to turn your hip first to get a little boost. Use the boost to get through, up to your elbow, tighten up the abs, keep them tight. Press all the way up. 
Now from here, I want you to keep this stuck in place and I want you to keep this leg straight. You're not gonna let them cave in like this. You're not gonna let this knee bend. As much as you can, press out and keep that planted. Down to your elbow, down to your back. Again, abs, stay engaged. Pass out with the chest, extend, open up. Get another angle to your back. Starfish, press up. Make sure you're engaging the lat. Packing your shoulder down. So from here, I want you to come down nice and slow. Be able to come down at this pace. Roll through each ab muscle. Unfurling with each vertebrae until you're laying all the way back. Let me show you that again. Use your breathing to assist with any hard parts. Control, control, control. And down to the back. Pull it down with both hands over your chest, roll to the side. Every iteration of the get up, including the get up sit up, is about the journey, not the destination. So take your freaking time. <laughs>